welcome to the Burnt Brass Homestead channel. Today, you get to follow us into the greenhouse to get some leafy vegetables. So as you can see, some of these are a little droopy because we were below freezing last night. Typically, this is not the time you want to pick vegetables, leafy greens, um, you kind of want them to um, perk back up, but if you are going to pick, make sure you only touch the ones that you're actually going to eat. Right now we're just picking enough for breakfast. The other thing is this roll will be cleared by the time we do the transplants of the seedlings I started about two weeks ago. So we're really not too concerned about um, these vegetables. But we do want to eat them up, so that's what we're working on. So while he's picking the, uh, the vegetables that we'll be eating for breakfast, I'll go ahead and show you guys the, um, the seedlings. So this is the second bed from the door. And in this bed, we do need to weed a little bit. We still have those Canadian thistles in here that we have to, you know, pull straight up. But in this bed, there is lettuce. And that's the lettuce that's coming up. It goes all the way down this row. So it's kind of hard to see, but it is coming up. And I'll get in here and weed a little bit later. In this bed, you can also see some of the spinach just coming up so when I come in here to weed it's another thing of spinach I have to be careful when I pull the thistle out and this is an this is an organic garden so we do not spray unfortunately um, a batch of dirt that I got soil that I had gotten was contaminated with um, thistle that's what I'm believing and so it's in the bed. So you can see some more. Of the various lettuce that was planted. You can see some here. So things are coming up. I'm happy about that. This is the left side of the greenhouse. And this is a different type of lettuce. Here's the arugula. We love arugula. We put this on all of our sandwiches. And as you can see, it's not perky as you would expect because of the, um, the overnight temperatures below freezing. But they do come back. So just be careful when they're like this. You don't want to touch and mess around with them, especially when they when it's when it's colder out than what it was last night. It just dipped below freezing last night, but we also made it through that deep freeze of last year when the temperatures were 10 degrees. That's when you definitely do not want to touch your leafy vegetables that are growing in um, your, for your winter crops. Don't touch those. Let them perk back up. Get a little sunlight, um, and yeah. While we're out here, um, bring you over to the chicken coop, getting their water ready. Food is already inside. 
We'll leave the food inside. So hopefully this is clear going through this gate. Here are the chickens on the inside. We're ready to come out. And there's the little door that's opening. And the first thing they do is go over and get some water. Actually, a couple of them are still inside eating. And you're not going to be able to tell because the window is a little dirty, so you can't see. So that's pretty much the end of this video. Just wanted to give you guys a look at how our mornings are started every morning with the exception of the greenhouse we typically don't go out there every single morning so i hope that you've enjoyed this video if so please like share and subscribe to help this small channel to grow